So what I have here is a Tokina Cinema ATX lens that was sent to me um, from actually another technician um, that just, it, I don't know if he, he couldn't be bothered with it or he certainly has more important things to do. The guy's with one of the, the, the larger companies in the country and just couldn't deal with this thing. So anyway, he sent me off this lens. Had problems with uh, image shift during um, during the zoom, mainly at each end of the zoom, it would focus shift pretty badly when you get to either end of the zoom. And uh, the outer, all the outer barreling in the lens was actually quite beautiful. Nice, you know, hard anodized, uh, end painted aluminum, really nice numbering, lettering, uh, very large, solid feeling lens. Uh, this particular one, um, also with a, uh, a lens support built in, and this particular one was in a uh, Canon EF mount. So I opened the thing up, not really knowing what I was going to find, and really what I found inside was a, a plastic still lens. I mean, there's so much design that's gone into this lens, I have to believe that Takina, you know, specifically designed this lens uh, for cinema, I would have to believe. But inside of all that impressive barreling, it's just a whole lot of airspace. And here is the other thing that I noticed about the lens, too. Everything is just kind of loose and rattly. Now, I think with the uh, combination of everything buttoned up, it controls it much better. But as I was working on different sections of the lens, and I'd had... Um, this front ring off earlier that exposed some cam followers, uh, some of which were loose. Um, and, uh, and also there's, there's cam followers down here in the zoom section. This is actually the, uh, the zoom barrel down here on the lens. And, uh, it, it feels pretty good, but six cam followers, you know, two, two, and, uh, two. Even though they seemed snug, um, there still was just just a little bit of end play I could feel as I as I changed uh, zoom direction. I could feel just a little bit of play in those followers, and I don't know if that was contributing to it or not. So I actually just snugged all six of those screws in hopes that they would actually. Uh, crush and expand these plastic cam followers just ever so slightly so they fit in the slots better. So anyway, um, it, I don't know if it if it snugged up anything. Like I said, with all the barrels in place, you know, it can't move like this. But uh, inside this oh-so-impressive aluminum housing is uh, what, what seems to be kind of a typical um, still zoom lens. And uh, I don't know, like I said, if this was purpose engineered, if this um, optic assembly was um, repackaged in this housing, I just don't know. But all I know is it had some pretty significant issues when looked at on camera and on a, cal on a uh, collimator. So uh, now I'm going to reassemble the lens and um, retest afterward and uh, report back.